Hey, God bless you guys in Jesus' name. I pray that everyone is doing amazing and well. You know what's so wonderful? You know what's beautiful? Is that Christ saw it so fit, sees you so valuable that he came to die and lay down his life for you. He came to be nailed upon a tree that you would call up, that you would now have the ability to call upon that name, the name that is above all names, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That in that name is salvation, that in that name is deliverance, that in that name is wholeness, that in that name he came to save that which was lost to redeem and bring you unto himself to reconcile your relationship with the father to bring you in right standing as sons and daughters in Christ Jesus do you not understand the price that was paid See, we sometimes as Christians, we want to sometimes look at life and our life. And sometimes I've heard Christians say, but if I come to Jesus or serving Jesus, I have to give up so much or I got to lay this down. I got to surrender this. Not even fully understanding what he did for you. Seeing a lot of Christians sometimes upon the land and in the world. See, they don't want to forgive, but Jesus came to forgive you. See, everything that Jesus came to do was, was to model the life as being our standard of what we should be living accordingly to Christ in you the hope of glory, the hope of Shekinah, the hope of his manifest presence in your life modeled out and lived so that you and me could be upon this earth in the, in the midst of a dark world or a fallen, fallen system. He chose to come to this world, to place his spirit in you, to live in you, to use you, to empower you, and to raise you up, and to call you sons, to raise you up into the newness of life, a new creation, altogether lovely, because as you abode as as we behold one another we see the glory of the lord see you are the glory and the reflection of your father who is in heaven hallowed be his name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and give us this day o lord our daily bread, Jesus. Give us Jesus constantly and daily. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is your power. For thine is your glory forever and ever. Amen. So I want to come on today just to remind you. It was no, it was no cheap thing of what Jesus came to do when he came in this earth in the womb of a woman to, to, to be birthed into this fallen world to pay the ultimate price upon the cross of Calvary to pay for your sins, to die as you, 
that because of what he did, he was taking your place, but at the same time giving you his. See, the beautiful exchange of our Lord is that he loves you so dearly and the power of his blood, it still speaks better things because love is God and he speaks from that voice concerning you. So I don't know where you are today or what you're going through or even the mindset sometimes that people get stuck in. I want for you to understand that when Christians sometimes feel as if, well, I don't want to give that up and I don't want to lay that down and I don't want to change for God and I don't want to give up these things, not understanding that what he has for you is far more greater and grand than you can imagine and or think. See, the life that he has for you, there is never a less than an a less than exchange when it comes to exchanging with the Lord of who he knows you are because he already knows who he created and called you to be. But if you never see the value of the price that Christ paid, of, of, of what he did upon the tree, of what he did at the whipping post for you and me, if you never understand and come to the reality of how real that is for you in this moment, in this life. You'll never fully understand the love that came to pay the price for you. See, he loves you so dearly. He not only wants to save you, but he wants to save your family. He wants to save everything that pertains to your life. And yes, he wants to heal you. See the stripes upon the body of our Christ by the wounds of our Lord, you were healed. That was no easy task and he did, he did not go to the whipping post for nothing. It was not just for nothing. Everything he did Everything he fulfilled was for you. So the next time you want to think about, well, I don't want to give this up or I don't want to lay that down or why does God, why is God always convicting me and why is God always challenging me and why do I have to give this up and why do I have to let that go? You remember what he came to do for you. Why do I have to forgive? You remember that he forgave you. Why do I have to allow him and why do I have to let him lead? Because he came to lay it all down for you so that you can have the ability to receive everything of who he is in your life. It was no easy task of what Christ came to do and bring available to you on earth as it is in heaven in this present moment. See the prophets of see the prophets and the men of old, they saw the day when the Spirit of God would come to dwell and live in man. But yet we take it for granted of what we have because of the outpouring in Jesus ascending and sending the helper himself to come to live on the inside of you and me. See, we, we, we want to minimize the working of the Holy Spirit and we don't want to, we don't want to give credit and allow the Holy Spirit to train you and to teach you and to equip you and to convict you and to correct you and to walk out the realities of the mindset of Christ. And we don't want to crucify the flesh we want to keep on living our carnal kind of ways. We don't want to surrender to Jesus as, as Lord of our life. We will call him Lord, but does he have lordship? It's time that we finally surrender to the lordship of Jesus Christ and understanding he came to pay the ultimate price.